Eco-Friendly Habits for a Sustainable Ecosystem Let's start to save the planet together. Hello everyone and welcome to another video in our channel Eco Bravo. Planet Earth is presently facing a problem of environmental degradation and sustainability threats resulting from the continuous activities of man. The problem of threats to the ecosystem is now one of the world's major concerns. Therefore, it's necessary to find a lasting solution so that we can have a sustainable ecosystem for ourselves and the coming generations. However, it's not the job of only a set of people. It's a collective job of every one of us as its individual effort that will sum up to an overall result of a healthy ecosystem. Our major goal is to load you with tips and hacks to enhance your health and live your dream life. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel to have access to other similar updates. When it comes to maintaining a sustainable ecosystem, many people want to put in their best, but they usually get stuck on where to begin. Becoming an environmentally friendly individual is no hard thing. It only requires you to know the basics of habits that deteriorate the human environment and what you can do to reduce or eliminate them. This is what we want to show you today. Let's dive in. Number 1. Start with awareness. Before you can deal with any problem, you need to first understand the situation around that problem. The same is the case with the issue of sustainability. You want to ensure that you pay ultimate attention to the way you do things on a daily basis. This includes how you dispose of waste, use resources and the kind of materials you use in your home and workplace. When you're aware of your environment and how you might be contributing negatively, you can detect the best way to begin living a positive and eco-friendly lifestyle. Number 2. Conservation. Now that you are aware of your environment, one of the first steps you can take towards having a better ecosystem is to cultivate the habit of conservation. This starts from your resources to your food and drink. You want to ensure that you reduce the amount of waste that you generate as much as possible. At this junction, it's important that we mention the conservation of water as it's one of the number one most vital resource in our environment. Technology has done a good part of the work for us as we can now filter and reuse water. Nevertheless, you can still play your role by ensuring that you reduce unnecessary wastage of water as much as possible. Number 3. Plant trees. Trees are crucial for the survival of man and other animals. Their existence provides an avenue for producing and releasing oxygen into the atmosphere and the absorption of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. There's no doubt that these phenomena will save the world from the present problem of climate change. The benefits of having trees around us also extend to the production of foods and the provision of habitats for wildlife and other smaller organisms. For these reasons, it's necessary that we form a habit of planting as many trees as possible to provide a better atmosphere for our planet so that we can have a better life. You should also desist from cutting down trees unless it is highly necessary. And whenever you want to cut down trees unnecessarily, you should remember that the existence of man comes to an end when the last tree falls. Number 4. Recycling. Recycling is another crucial way to limit the problem of environmental degradation. Studies show that if everyone can recycle half of the waste they generate every day, we will be able to lower the level of pollution and climate change problems to a reasonable degree. Whenever you are at home or work, make it a habit to always recycle your waste and also teach others to practice waste recycling so that we can all have a better planet to live in and reduce our risk of facing health challenges. Number 5. Avoid plastic. The accumulation of plastic waste has been one of the leading causes of environmental pollution today. This is because most of the plastic waste we dispose of is not recycled. Rather, they end up in landfills and water bodies. Lives above and below the water are affected by those plastics, and more importantly, expose humans to more health risks. 
You need to cultivate the habit of avoiding plastics to reduce plastic wastes. Especially